Hello everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today in this tutorial we are writing a python program to print a pattern. So we want to print stars in this shape. In this video series we already discussed about a pattern program that is this pattern. We saw how we can print stars in the right triangle shape. This is also a right triangle shape but this pattern, today's pattern is inverse of the previous pattern. Right? If I flip this pattern downwards we will get today's pattern. So to print this pattern also we are using nested for loop and you can write this program using nested while loop or string multiplication method also. So let's begin with the program. First let's see what is the input and output of the program. We know what is the output right. We want to print star in this shape. But what about the input? So input is nothing but we are asking the user to enter the number of rows of the output. Here in this pattern we can see our pattern contains 5 rows right. We can write this pattern with number of row as 4 or 10 or 15 like that. So here we are writing the general program that's why we are asking the user to enter number of rows he want in the output. We are not asking about the column because uh, column is related to row here in this pattern that's why we are only asking the user to enter the number of rows. So in the python file first let's take the input. We'll ask the user to enter the number of rows. So for that I'll take a variable called n to store the user entered input and I'll use input function to take input from the user and I'll and I'll print a message okay this message will display on the output screen. Here I am using python3 so this input function will take input as the string value but here we want number of row that is the integer value. So I need to convert the input to integer so I am using int function to do that. In python3 version this input function will take input as string value by default. If you want integer value or float value you can use int function or float function to convert that string input. And we are storing the user entered input in the variable n. Alright so now we are done with the input next we need to write the program. As I said we are using nested for loop to print the pattern. So nested for loop means for loop inside a for loop. We are using two for loop. One for loop is to print star in different row and another for loop is to print stars in different column like this. Here we can see different rows right. In different rows we want to print star. For that we need a loop and here I am using for loop. And in a row we can see we want to print star in different column. So for that we need another for loop. And in the nested for loop we have a for loop inside the for loop. So here this outside for loop will be called as outer for loop and this is called as inner for loop. As I said in our program we are using two for loop. One for loop is for row and another for loop is for, for column. So the outer for loop here will be the for loop for row. And inside that we will take for loop for column in our pattern. That is because we are printing star like this in a row in the first row. This is the first row right. We will print the star in column 0 or the col first column. First column. Next we will print star in the second column. Next we will print star in the third column. Next we will print star in the fourth column. Next we will print star in the fifth column. After printing stars in all the column of first row, after finishing that we will go to the second row and we will print the stars in each column of second row. So that's why this for loop will be the outer for loop and inside that, inside this for loop we will take the for loop to print this column. Inner for loop will be for loop for column. So when I take nested for loop, first I need to take the for loop for row. So that's why in the program first I'll take the for loop for row. I'll take the variable name as i. You can take any suitable variable name. And here I'm using range function. Range function because in this for loop, for loop for row, I need to mention how many times I want to execute this for loop body. Or in another words, how many rows you want in the output. So to get that number, I'm using this range function. It will give the range how many rows I want. So here I need to mention that here we want n rows right. Here we are asking the user to enter the number of rows and we are storing that in the variable n. That means we want n rows. 
So when I take n, range will be from 0 to n. If I take range of n, it will be range from 0 to n. So when I take n value as 4, it will take range from 0 to n, 0 to 4. So it will give i value as 0, 1, 2, 3. To understand this, you need to know how range function works. I explained about this in detail while explaining about the first pattern. I will give you the link of that video in the description box. You can go and watch that. Here we are taking the row from 0. So that's nothing but in the output here instead of first row, the first row will be 0, 1, 2, 3 and 4. Row number will be start from 0. Next we need to take the for loop for column, right? Inside this we need to take the for loop for column. So I will take for j in range. So here I need to mention how many columns I want in each row. Because we are taking this for loop inside the for loop for row. So that is nothing but in a row how many columns you want. You need to mention that here. Here j is the variable name. So let's see how many columns we want in each row. So here we can see at row 0 that is the first row. We want 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. At 0, 0 row, we need 5 star. At row 1, we need 4 star. At row 2, we need 3 star. At row 3, we need 2 star. And at row 4, we need 1 star. Right? This is the count of star and this is the row. So in row 0, 5 star, row 1, 4 star, row 2, 3 star, row 3, 2 star and row 4, 1 star. To get like this, we need to form a general formula. So I'll write formula like this, okay, n minus i. So here n is nothing but number of rows input, right, in my program. So here in this pattern, number of row is nothing but 5. n value is 5 here because it contains 5 rows, right? So when I give n as 5, I'll get this output. When I take n minus i as formula, here we can see n. n is nothing but 5. Minus i. What is i? In the program, I took the variable name for row as i. When I take n minus i, in the first row, when i equal to 0, when I do n minus i, n is 5, i is 0, n, n minus i means 5 minus 0, so we'll get 5. When row is 1, that is i value is 1, n is 5, 5 minus 1, 4, we'll get 4 star. So this formula works for this. So that's why here I'll take how many columns I want. I want n minus i column in each row. So next what I need to do in the column I just need to print star. So I'll print star and here I'll take end is equal to space. In the print function by default this end value is slash n that is nothing but after printing this star go to the next line that's it but here we don't want that we need to print stars one after the another right here for columns after printing this star i want to print this star next to that i want to print this star next to that right i want to print this star next to that so that's why i'm taking end parameter as end is equal to space next here I'll use this print function. This is for the new line. After each row, we want to go to the next line to print the star, right? So that's why I'm using this print function. All right, so now we are done with the program. Let's execute this program. So enter the number of row. So I'll enter phi. And here we can see the pattern. So let's enter 10. Here we can see. This is the one way to write the program. You can write it in another way also. As I said, we can write this program using nested while loop and string multiplication also. So I already explained you how we can convert the for loop to nested while loop. That is how to do that transformation. And I will give you the link of that video in the description box. You can go and watch that. Also, I made a video on string multiplication, how to print stars using string multiplication. So I will give you the link of that video also in the description box. This is the activity for you. You need to write this program using nested while loop as well as string multiplication. And that's it for now guys. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I will meet you in next class. Till then, take care.